I'm Dr. Chris Winslow. I'm director of both the Ohio Sea Grant Program, a NOAA-funded program, and Ohio State University's Stone Laboratory, the university's island campus on Lake Erie. So Ohio State University Stone Laboratory is an island campus uh, in the western part of Lake Erie. It's actually a presence on two different islands. So one of them is called South Bass. That's where the, the, the city of Putin Bay is located. But then the university also owns an island called Gibraltar Island. It is just the length of a football field away from Putin Bay. It is about six and a half acres in size. It houses our classroom building, our dormitories, our dining hall, and also housing for faculty. So what happens on the island if you walk up on a daily basis is you're going to have researchers not only from Ohio State University but from across the region and I would argue the country. And so basically it's a, it's a research facility to meet the needs of academics and state and federal agencies that need to study Lake Erie and some of the pressing issues facing that lake. We also open that island to educate uh, stakeholders. So we educate charter captains and, and the media, elected officials. So we bring up many, many different audiences to the island to get them on our research vessels, uh, to get them to take samples of water, to look at organisms under a microscope so that they understand the lake, how it functions, and what stressors exist in that lake. But in addition to that, we have field trips that happen in the spring of the year. So basically as soon as ice is off until summer break for grade school kids, We'll come up and live on that island and take courses on that island. And then in the summer, when our uh, college students are on break, we offer college courses. Somewhere around 20 to 25 courses every summer. Somewhere between 250 to 270 students will call that island home while they learn about Lake Erie um, and how it functions and operates. So not only do our students get you know, the formal coursework that they need to graduate, what I love about Stone Lab is the class sizes are pretty small. So depending on the course, it could range from six students. Our max is usually around 16. And so you get to know your uh, colleagues, your, your, your academic peers, but you're also in a dining hall eating your breakfast, lunch, and dinner with your professors. And, and you don't find that often on large academic campuses. And so the relationship that you build is not just with your classmates, and it's not just a relationship with the material of the course, but you're starting to build and foster relationships with um, some of your professors. And, and some of those professors are even uh, work for state agencies on their off time. And so there are great relationships and networks built while up at Stone Lab. So for me, Stone Lab is, is much more than, than taking courses that you get credit for. Um, Stone Lab, for me, was an inflection point. Um, I see this with students. They might think they want to study aquatic insects, but when they get up to the island, they realize, you know what, I really like geology or I really like, you know, larval fish. And so, again, outside of the classroom, when you get into the field and you're hands on and you get to have really close relationships with faculty and researchers that are doing work on the island, it really makes you think hard about what you want to do and what makes you passionate um, and, 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 and what drives you. And so I, I really don't ever want people to think of Stone Lab as just checking a, a course box. Um, it's much more than that.